down to the surface. You can start to describe in general your very first impressions. It's a very dense jungle, a very dense forest. Mm -hmm. Bang on big leaves, lots of green. Large roots of the trees, the trees are giant, and there's panther, mm -hmm. black panther, and there's a few snakes around me. Beautiful pattern. Mm -hmm. And I can hear the birds. I can I can hear the, the jungles communicating mm -hmm. with one another. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Take a deep breath. How does it smell over so there? Green. <laughs> Green. And how's the weather like? Very moist, but yet very fresh, very lush. A lot of moisture in the air. It, it reminds me of the Amazon forest, but the trees here are a lot larger. They like they like trees that many things can live in it. Mm -hmm. Trees. Wonderful. Now, I would like for you to look down to the direction of your feet. Can you see your feet? Yeah. Can you describe them for me? They're human feet. Mm -hmm. What color are they? They're a bit brown. They're oh. very much very tan. Very okay. Very strong. I'm not, I'm not sure whether it is male or female in physical gender, but very wide, flat feet. Mm -hmm. Scan up your body. Do you wear anything? Yeah, it, it feels like I'm a jungle man. No, mm -hmm. like there's um, things covering my hip. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm a lady. <laughs> mm -hmm. Very round, lady. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I've got, got hairdress and. Do you feel young or old? It's, it's an older body, but a very healthy, very mm -hmm. lively body. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's like she's going, she's going to dance, got a rattle in her hand. <laughs> Wonderful. So she's wearing a ceremonial outfit? Seems like it, yes. Mm -hmm. Now you can imagine that you are have imaginary mirror in front of you. And just for a moment you can place a mirror to look at yourself. And tell me what do you see? I'm seeing two faces. Uh -huh. One is an older lady, shorter in, in height, a long white and grey hair, flat nose, <laughs> and another is a younger, taller person, a male, flat chest, but, but very feminine male, mm -hmm. very warm, very gentle. Beautiful. Very good. So now you can put this mirror aside. And now I'd like for you to stay in that lifetime and take me to the place where you live in that lifetime. You can close this in and then open it, standing outside of the place where you live. We, mm -hmm. we, it's, it's the structure very much similar to a teepee of the Native American, mm -hmm. but it's not made out of, of leather or fabric. It, it's made out from leaves. Mm -hmm. Still very fresh made because the leaves are still green. Mm -hmm. a, very, a very humble place is um, pots cooking on fire outside, and in, inside there's a baby crying with, with its mother. Mm -hmm. And 
this it's quite well decorated inside this seems to be like a lot of fabric patterns and colorful patterns mm -hmm. what color do you see i see there's blue there's red there's yellow mm -hmm. and i see uh, a table mm -hmm. just like an an, an altar to my left uh -huh. There's feathers, there are crystals. <laughs> mm. Wonderful. Wonderful. So now I'd like for you to close the scene, stay in that lifetime, and take me to an important day in that lifetime, a day that you consider important, be there now. And now you can open the scene and describe what you see. I see war. I, I see fighting. Uh -huh. I see us being invaded and we didn't see it coming. Uh -huh. Yeah, we, we didn't see it coming. Mm -hmm. And we were taken somewhere else. Some Someone had not es escaped. Mm -hmm. People with leopard outfit, with tiger and leopard spirit came and helped. Mm. And they take us to a, a bigger, a bigger place, a bigger civilization, mm -hmm. ground place. I see, I see a pyramid structure very similar and remind me of the the Mayans or way before that. There's um, rock carved of a panther and leopard like head. Yes, it feels very much being back in Mexico, but in a different timeline. And um, they they offer us a place to stay. Yeah, we we were a bit scared. I can see people around us were scared and carrying their babies. Mm -hmm. How many are you? A quite a big group, quite a crowded place. Mm -hmm. I'm not quite sure now whether they're helping us or whether they're capturing us. <laughs> mm. <laughs> it's, it's in a very dark, dark place with few flames, torches. Can you share with me about your family? Who is there with you? I'm alone. Um, You're alone? Mm -hmm. People around me, other people, some of them I know, but they're not related, they're not family. Uh -huh. um, mm -hmm. Do you know what happened to your family? Where are you? I, 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 see, the, I see the word kill. Mm -hmm. I, I migrate, I travel from place to place. I see. And, and that was the last place that I settled. And I was helping, I was helping a family taking care when they were sick and much like a, a spirit doctor. I see. And, and offer them what, what I know. And in turn, they, they offer me shelter and it's very much of a family relationship, although it's not related by blood. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Very nice. So, um, can you share with me a little bit? Uh, I want to actually, let's close this scene. And let's see another important day in that lifetime. When we can see how did you learn what you learned. How did you learn to to be a, a medicine man? Or so now go to that time when we can see more information about you. There's 
there's a grandfather figure that I learned from. I see myself as a baby clawing on on the on the on the ground. Mm -hmm. And there's friendly panther and leopards. We we weren't afraid of them. Mm -hmm. It's it's a very harmonizing, harmonious relationship we have with the animals. Yeah. I don't I I'm seeing crocodiles. I sense that we didn't like crocodiles back then. We see them as danger in the rivers. But there's snakes, there's birds, and I was raised in this family, in this grand, with this grandfather figure who, who showed me his medicine and who feed me his medicine. Mm -hmm. And I see myself as a young girl now running through the jungle, mm -hmm. and. I, I came back and I found I found everyone was killed. Mm. Mm. I'm sorry to hear. It's okay. It happens, you know. Yeah. Mm. Nothing lasts forever. Mm -hmm. So let's see what did you do next after that. I, I I ran with the pandas. The panda helped me. Mm -hmm. They they were my eyes in the jungle. Mm. Mm. And it seems like I just stay with them until I'm older. I cook food, living in the world. Mm -hmm. Although it seems like I do enjoy when I find sandy beach just outside the jungle. I, I was really close to the dolphins. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I, I love them so much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I love the people who raised me so much. Mm -hmm. I didn't expect them to be gone so quickly. Yeah. Mm. How old are you now? About 19 or 20. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. And um, I'm aware that there are there are other people on the ground on the same land. Mm -hmm. The leopard people, the, the men who wears leopard skin, yeah. and the men who kills leopard for power. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Understand. Thank you for sharing with me. So I would like for you now to also close that scene and then move to another important day in that lifetime. Day that you consider important. Consider now. And then you can open and describe. What do you see now? I see myself as a little older, possibly mm -hmm. in middle age, mm -hmm. being happy, being welcome in the community. And it was it was a lot of love, a lot of a lot of celebration. And I and I told them not to be scared of the leopards. Mm -hmm. I showed them certain ways of living to keep the hungry, hungry animals alive. Mm -hmm. And I told them that the panthers are our guardians, they are our protectors. Mm -hmm. they, their spirits are observing us. 
How wonderful you have this beautiful relationship with us and you can share this information with them. What do you see that you're doing now? I just feel such a deep connection with the pandas and the lotus. Mm. Wonderful. You can enjoy this beautiful connection you have. Mm. Mm. They, they're still guiding me. Now you can show me another beautiful day, important day in your life, the day that you consider important and something important is happening. Bigger now. Um. Um, I'm back to where everyone was being captured and mm -hmm. and I, I I felt peace. Mm -hmm. I felt you no know, I do feel suffering from people around me but I, deep within me I feel at peace. I feel that this is my time to go. Mm -hmm. and, and they, they, they kill us, they torture us. Mm. And they, they were eating us as well. <laughs> they were? Yeah. They, they were eating us. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now what happened is already happened and you can look at it after that from this other side of it. You can look, can you see yourself from above? Yes. Uh -huh, wonderful. So, is there anything there that attracts your attention when you look at it from the back? Uh, I'm just glad to be out. <laughs> um, there's a, this pain and suffering and, and a lot of killing. Yeah. yeah. Wonderful. So now from this perspective, you can look at the entire lifetime from the beginning to end. Every life has a purpose and lesson. What do you sense was the purpose of this lifetime? First is experience, experience loss, pain, mm -hmm. sadness. But yet within it is this opportunity to grow and just, just be, be myself and and also it's nice to see there's deep connection with the panthers and the lepers because because when well because when Nalini was in the jungle she could feel their presence mm -hmm. this, is a, this is a very grounding experience for her to know that she's continuing to have this strong bond with the feline beings in all kinds of forms. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. What else did she learn in that lifetime? Loyal, the, the nature of being loyal, the nature of being knowing what's one path is and sticks to one's belief within the heart the, the sacred of the relationship between human and animals mm -hmm. and the sacredness of the recalling of the relationship of a person in the midst of chaos in the midst of imbalance and discordant energy that earth went through mm -hmm. and is reflecting much right now what's happening in this moment of time and that's why we are so thankful and 
feel so much gratitude towards what you guys are doing, just standing up for what you believe in and, and anchoring all of this gift and ability that you carry throughout many lifetime and things aren't easy but you guys are like light in the midst of dense smoke and and others who's just beginning to see this light they're beginning to feel drawn to it there's one light that 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 gives them hope gives them faith gives them hint of love and second of realization that something beyond this then smoke mm. so thank you well, thank you thank you very much can you share with me if there's anything in that lifetime that she didn't accomplish in this learning that she can do that trust mm -hmm. trust um, issue Mm -hmm. <laughs> which is we understand it's very common amongst you lot <laughs> but mm -hmm. there's a trust issue that trust has been hidden and kept deep inside the heart much like a very precious treasure that you hold on to but 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 it's there's layers and layers of fears and pains that causing humanity to not to release this trust out. And it's understandable reason because you just want to feel safe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So trust was something that was still need to be developed. Yes, big time, and she knows it. It was one of her New Year resolution in the beginning of 2017 is to trust <laughs> more. Yeah. Uh, how is she doing with it now? Getting better, and we, she knows that we are pushing her, we're putting her into a difficult place for her eyes to be wide open as the other people who seems that according to prejudice and systems of fear and separation and judgment you know they might not be trustworthy but once you give people a chance and your your and herself and yourself a chance there's trust and bond and love and support and intangible things that can't be described in human language and she's learning that. She's learning that by meeting you. She's learning that by meeting other people, physically and online. And she's slowly coming out from her shell and and there to experience the uncertainties and the unknown that she never did before. And, and we would like to congratulate her for taking a different turn in her life, mm -hmm. breaking away from the systems. Yeah. And aware of the fears and doubts within herself and she's pushing through it every day mm -hmm. and this is when we would like to remind her again to give herself more credit for that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. wonderful thank you so much thank you so much for mentioning all of that now yeah. wondering if would you like to show her another lifetime that was affecting her if there's any more lifetimes that have imprints of her that we can Really? The last time where she's located with the Sphinx. Would you like to show her? Yes, please. Thank you. So now you can go to this time and place. And now you can open the scene there and start to describe so I can imagine it with you. In front of the great Sphinx, I'm standing, admiring the magnitude and the beauty of it. Mm -hmm. Through time and space, I travel by the consciousness of Teoti, communi communicating with you all with these seeds of light within your brain, within your heart. There's a spark within the lion's heart, within the hearts of the thing between his paws. 
and they are codes. We would like now to confirm that they are codes on the back of the certificates that many institutes can decode it and to use it to shift their frequency to align themselves back to the golden age of this land mm -hmm. in order to breach the consciousness, in order to connect the height of civilization and the praise and the celebration of connection with human life and the sacredness of the source atom. I am coming forth through her heart, through the pain that she feels, the pain that she picks up from many lifetimes, from beings in earth reincarnating so many times and at times she forgets. <laughs> mm -hmm. She forgets such divine connection that we have. Mm -hmm. We are taking her now into these halls, bright halls, halls of codes, mm -hmm. halls of scrolls, where she is one of our scribe encoding and writing the hymns and songs and inspirations and praise and connection and the knowledge that comes through the heart into pieces of paper. Mm -hmm. We're showing her that there's not one of her but there are many working heart scribes for the priest, for the initiate, and it's her dream to be one of the initiates. <laughs> mm -hmm. She looks up so much to this wisdom and she absorbing all of the codes, all of the teachings, all of the knowledge that she's writing and encoding mm -hmm. in this world. We must remind her though, do not worry if her logic mind in this lifetime doesn't make sense to her because at this moment of time it won't with all the systems she's in with the surrounding and the environment mm -hmm. she can though try to disconnect and have less Facebook time and social media time <laughs> she knows so she need a little bit to reduce the time that she's on Facebook and those kind of things Yes, she knows it. She knows it. She she admires the relationship she found on Facebook. She 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 has so much gratitude for the people that she connects with online and the other side of her that she knows that she needs to go deeper with them. Yes. Just be in that quiet space and drop all the responsibilities. We know that she's very concerned with her oracle card project and we can assure her do not worry it's going to come in its own unique nature perhaps very different and very raw according to what she sees of other people's doing but she knows that she shouldn't compare and the hidden energy within this oracle the hidden energy with the words that she has written will be transmitted through the heart and through the pineal gland and to the spine of the keepers of the cards. Mm -hmm. She knows that her priority to get that out in the beginning of this year. Okay. So yes. how long should it be until it should be out? There's a balance of the flow, a dance between the enjoyment of artistic creation and to get things done. Mm -hmm. So it's the balance between the masculinity and the femininity energy that she's channeling through this project. Mm -hmm. And completing this project would teach her a lot about balancing her time. Mm -hmm. Balancing her time to rejuvenate, balancing her time to enjoy the human life and balancing the time to be in the ethnic world and to do her job, to be the channel, to be my channel, to be the channel of the higher consciousness and as well communicating with the lower consciousness on earth. Yeah. Can you tell me who is she channeling? 
There's a team of felines, the teams of the family from Lyra, way before the history that was recorded that Lyra were attacked by the denser and lower thoughts. And this consciousness of Lyra still exists, but the shift she is channeling her lion family to remind of the master of reality that everyone is and this energy aligned with the constellation of orion aligned with the energy of sphinx and pyramid of Giza, and aligned with the black land the land of kemet mm -hmm. the land of kemet the ancient egypt is the reflection of heaven is a reflection of collaboration alliance or in the galactic realm reflected upon earth mm -hmm. and with the evidence that still linger of that is a reminder of all to all humanity mm -hmm. yeah. that there's collaboration and in order to understand deeper in order for all these findings that many have done to be out in the mainstream Everyone needs to hold hand and to work together from different branch of academics and different branch of creative fields. But this has to happen and it is okay. Everything is going according to the universal rhythm, the universal law. We are slowly climbing up. We can't rush it too much because others in the collective is not going to survive if we accelerate this energy too much into everyone's being. You guys already feel it in what you call in ascension, ascension symptoms. Yeah. Aches and pains, the shift, the dizziness, the nauseation, and, and all this release of whatever it is that you hold on for so long. Yeah. And so, we, our team, thank you for being a role model, for taking charge and initiative to walk this path. Thank you. Thank you. Does, does her higher self, am I speaking to her higher self now or? Combination. Okay, combination. Very mm -hmm. good. Is there any name that her higher self had? <laughs> Lucas. Lucas? <laughs> Lucas Lyra. And Lucas. she also associates her higher self name with Diosera. Oh, wonderful. All, all these three names has different frequency uh -huh. Wonderful. and different resonance to her soul map. Mm. Wonderful. And how many guides does she have right now? Well, do we really have to count? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You tell me. The one, the, the, the one that's surrounding her all the time and the one that align in the alignment with her service in this moment of time, yeah. they are 69. 69? 69. 69. And, the number, and the number of six and nine can be divided into different groups as well. Okay. And there are more of the guides that she will find it very familiar but yet very new they will come down to her when she's take more turn and anchoring more connections and offering new chapters in her service mm -hmm. like what kind of chapters what kind of services she needs to expand to more broader cast She's now in doubt of herself, of getting herself out there in Bangkok and creating her own webcast. She's mm -hmm. in a lot, there's a lot of judgment flowing through in her logic mind. Yeah. And as well as there's a comfort relying on others, relying on people like you, relying on, relying on Jacqueline, who's another lady that she's doing a webcast with mm -hmm. from New York. And all of these, all of you and Jacqueline and other people who comes and invite her, they are her teachers. And she knows that and she honors that. But then there will be a time when she needs to step up and really take on the full role, being independent. And as at this moment, we can tell 
her that and knew that it's not so much of what she's going to be doing next, but in her state of being. Yeah. It, it is her state of confidence. It is her state of balance being between confidence and humble. Mm -hmm. She knows that being shy no longer serves. She knows that being clinging in one comfort zone no longer serves. She knows that. Mm -hmm. And we are waiting for this Oracle card project to finish so that she can have time and have more creative energy to channel into something new. Mm -hmm. Things are moving fast for her. Things are moving so fast for her that sometimes her human self feels like she's going crazy and there are days that she can't count numbers. And she feel quite bad for not feeling grounded and we can assure her not to feel bad. Yeah. At times, the energy that she anchoring for clients and for herself is very much on a different level of the energy where she's at in this moment of time. So it's going to take a bit of time for her body to register and for the collective, for the people around her to register. Her dog, however, really grounds her and her dog is a reflection of being, of nature, of being with one intuition, with one gut feeling. And yeah. that's why she feels the need to be with her dog in this moment of time as well. Yeah, wonderful. So I would like to ask if we can start the healing process on her body. Yeah. Thank you. And maybe we can do the body scan. And she mentioned a few things. She mentioned the fingers, shoulders, neck, her digestive system. I feel like the digestive system, we can start there. Would you mind? Uh, yes. Thank you, guys. Um, so are we here? There's lots of anger inside. Of what? Channel through her mother and the frustration of her lower self with with the system of the world mm -hmm. still is. Even though she's claimed not to eat any more meat, she still feels that anger of what is being done to the animals. Mm -hmm. But yet she's still finding the balance of appreciate what's put on the plate and not to judge. Mm -hmm. And there's a sense of anxiety and there's relating to the issue of trust. Of what? Trust. Trust. Mm -hmm. Okay. The level of... How can of, we help her with that? How can we help? Slow down. She's going through, she's going too fast with her services. Mm -hmm. And she's still very much like a newborn child, experimenting with her creative forces. Mm -hmm. Within the next month, she will know what to do less and she will know what to completely eliminate from yeah. her website. From, from her channel, from her, from her creative activity, she will know. Can you share with me a little bit about those things? Like what do you suggest that she can reduce? Reduce the costume art. It is a wonderful service for others and it's aligned with her heart objective of painting someone else's day even though it doesn't make sense to the logic mind, and even though it doesn't make sense, it doesn't make sense to, to the 3D world. But yeah. she's doing it and she's enjoying it and it's been teaching her a lot. But it's, it's take a toll on her physical body. Yeah. And she's receiving too much and, and that's the Leo side of her, that's the stubborn side of her that, that, that like, like, like to push things to the limit. Yeah. And, and we like to assure her that there's no need to worry about the financial side. That now she can let go of being the provider. 
and just maintain and come back to the focus of the balance of frequency between giving and receiving and that we told us so many times yeah <laughs> uh -huh. wonderful so she don't need to worry about any financial things no everything is falling to her naturally now yeah that's and nice it is very nice and there's part of her that knows it and there's part of her that's still trying to make sense and uh -huh. trying to explain everything to her mother <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah can we see if there's any those kind of beliefs or thought forms that can be released today that are not serving her anymore Let go. Let go of anger, frustration. Mm -hmm. Can she do it right now? Yes. Let's release this energy from the body. Let's send it back to the light for healing. I'm going to open a vortex above the chest and just send the energy all the way to the light for healing. All the energy mm -hmm. within the body. Very good. She's lift when she releases, she lifts everything's and everyone's density up with her as well. Mm -hmm. It came clear to her during the blood moon, the recent blood moon. Uh -huh. And we need to remind her again that there's no need to fear. Mm -hmm. Things can come in really bad and really frightening at times. Yeah. But I'm only in the energy and she knows it and she tells this to other people. <laughs> yeah. And she yeah. knows what to do. Her feline nature takes over in kneading and massaging the energy and channeling it upwards. Yeah. Her head is always active. Her head is too active and she's a thinker. Yeah. She's a thinker. She's always thinking and she always tries to make sense and analyze things. And, and these ideas need to let go. She needs to know that in order to obtain knowledge, not always from the mind, not always from the brain. And this is a new perception for her. Mm -hmm. So, can you help her do that now? So those thought forms will be... Ah, it's the lesson that she learned in, with Mother Ayahuasca, but she forgot. Uh-huh. Can you remind her? Massage scalp. Give your mind the most comfort space. And then welcome this monkey nature light of the mind into the heart. Mm. And feel it in her solar plexus. Feel the connection and the divine sun. She's releasing through her back as well. Uh -huh. the, her spine, that the spot that connects to her solar plex. Uh -huh. And whenever she can get to grass or sand, we urge her to lie down and channel all this energy into earth. Okay. 
to be more connected, to return into the balanced state. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So she also wants to know about the heart, this place in her heart. Can we take care of that now? What is connected to? Pain, suffering of the world. There's, there's a clinging nature within her that she likes to feel other people's suffering and be sympathizing towards them. But there's no need, you know? Yes. There's, there's no need and she, she's learning to draw her sacred space. Mm -hmm. She's learning to love herself more and she's learning to respect others. And it is in its healing process. Mm -hmm. To heal according to its own nature. Mm -hmm. It's very much like a black seed within her chest that linger from eons and eons of time and that's what brought her back into earth mm -hmm. and if she wished to leave earth mm -hmm. and work and vibrate on a different planet on a different realm mm -hmm. she simply just needs to let go of this seed of pain and suffering mm -hmm. and that's why we put her upon the place of Buddha energy, mm -hmm. and that's her connection with Sukhothai. Mm -hmm. She will get herself there sometime this year, she will, and to merge her energy with the energy of the land, and it will be very transcending process for her and the collective. Mm -hmm. The seed here will be released there. Over there? Yes. I see. And when do you see that she's going to be there? And can you tell me more about this place? I'm seeing at this moment a very moist air. So we believe it's going to happen during the rainy season, mm -hmm. possibly after July. Uh -huh. Where is this place? Can you repeat about the place? This place is in the alignment with Pyramid of Kita. Is the island and Machu Picchu. All of the sacred space with transcending energy, mm -hmm. not only passing it upwards, but she will be anchoring the frequency that coming into her energetic field. And much grounding for her will be in Africa. Mm -hmm. Africa is where she grounds. Mm -hmm. And she will connect with her ancestor from the giant time, the giant beings, the giant guys. The giants that we saw in the beginning today? The different giants. This one are the giants with the blue and black skin. Mm. The rest that have been wiped out, not really wiped out, they chose to live because the frequency just doesn't match. Mm. The black and blue deep skin very similar features to the black African in this moment of time. Very tall, very round hair, thin face, but very round head, mm. up to six meters high. Wow. So she wanted to know about those three locations. Can you explain to her one by one what, what does she need to know? New Zealand is a rebirth and there's no need for her to vis visit New Zealand physically in this lifetime. There's no need. If she wants, yes, but there's no need. She's always and forever connected to New Zealand through her feet. Okay, wonderful. Her earth star chakra, born there. It wasn't in Thailand where her earth star chakra was activated. It was closed and we closed it, she closed it so that she wouldn't absorb any of the systems any further, any deeper into her being. Mm -hmm. She absorbed more of her beingness in, in, in New Zealand. That's when she felt joyous and she felt freedom. Mm -hmm. 
New Zealand would assist her in healing her ovaries and her womb. <laughs> we never told her this, we just say it now. Mm. Is the it now? Is it healed? Pardon? Is it healed already? Her womb? She wanted some help with the cycle. Yes, we would like to tell her that the wound from abortion and the pain is all being clear and removed. Okay. But there's still fear. And there's still what? Fear. Fear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fear, and it, it, it connects to her left side. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. the more she the more she comes out from her shell. The more she comes out and the more she progress on the spiritual path in this lifetime, this will come into its own attunement. We can assure that. Mm -hmm. Everything is paid for her already and quite clearly this year. She knows what to do. She knows where to go. It's quite very much in clarity in her mind already. Mm -hmm. And by allowing us to speak to her like this, more okay. it comes into her conscious now that she's on the right path wonderful wonderful so can you tell me more about the other place you wanted to know the hot the pardon the suka sukahati sukotai sukotai yes thank you sukotai is an old capital of thailand it was a very much sanctuary and very much of the ways of Lemuria still can be tapped into mm -hmm. with pure connection. Mm -hmm. Lemuria is beaming through Thailand all over and everyone can feel it except Bangkok. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bangkok is falling and she can see it. She can mm -hmm. see it. And she, she will get away. She will. She wants to know who. How long does she need to stay there? At this moment, it will be eight to ten, but then this might change according to her choices. And according to eight to ten, you mean month? You mean year? What do you mean? Years. We're looking at years now. Okay. But this is still changeable. This okay. is still very much able to shift. This really depends on the decision of her partner and the decision of hers. Okay. And a mutual decision and a readiness. Mm -hmm. Both readiness financially, readiness mentally and emotionally. Okay. Wonderful. So I want to uh, take a moment and I want to um, I want you to choose a word that when I say um, so may I speak with your higher self and guide. Slowing down. May I speak with your higher self? Yes. Thank you so much. I appreciate so much all the information you're giving us so far. And I would love to continue asking you questions. May I ask questions? Yes. Thank you so much. I would like you to, uh, to ask you also, why did you chose to show her this lifetime as a native uh, with a connection with a, with a nature like that? It, it clears away the doubts that she has with the Lyra, felines, beings, in a very grounded way. And it shows her one of the roots of sadness, of separation. Okay. And also, it shows her that she's always fine her own strength yeah. within, her, within herself. Yeah. And it doesn't matter whether she's born without a parent or a loving home or not. She's always have herself, she's always have her guidance. And the sacred relationship with the panthers and the lepers and the felines. Mm -hmm. And that's why she's here. And, and she's 
that she's remembering it now in this lifetime, but we observe her through many lifetimes that she just doesn't remember. She just doesn't remember the sacred connection and she falls in through this loop and loop and loop of cycles of what you may call it karma. Mm -hmm. How many lifetimes she was here on the earth? A thousand six hundred and seventy-nine. Wow. Consider, consider very new. There's other souls on earth that have been longer than that. Wow. But longer in a way of spiral time, not linear time. Okay. Mm -hmm. Longer in a way that they experience again and again and again and again and again and again and again what they yearning to experience. Yeah. I see. Okay, so were she also living on other planets? Yes, many planets. Many planets. And uh, is there anything that you would like to share with her about that? Mm. Mm. We are the lion being in the galactic realms and beyond. Beyond in a dimension that Nalini has no word for it. Yeah. At this moment of time, she associates us with the galactic realm. But we come through beyond, beyond the star systems, wider, more vast than the concept of death. In this, life, in this moment and concepts of universe in this moment. Mm -hmm. We choose to present ourselves in the form of lion to reflect the nature within all humanity, mm -hmm. the knowledge and the wisdom within the heart, the majestic nature and the caretaker of one's tribe. We're coming forth to you now as a lioness being, feminine, caretaker of the family. A beautiful energy that rises through human consciousness, although it doesn't quite fit the definitions that is out in the mainstream in this moment of time. Mm -hmm. It's very new, very gentle and very childlike not destructive at all. Nurturing of all life and sentient being, no matter what they do, no matter whether your society consider as bad or good, or good or evil, mm -hmm. this is an energy of nurturing oneself and others. Mm -hmm. The energy that unites or, and we see you as newborn, new seeds, and the people who have yet to come to grow the new seeds, they're going to go through a lot of pain, mm -hmm. a lot of state of being will be shaken in order for them to seek nothing else but love within themselves. Mm -hmm. It can be traumatic to witness <laughs> as a human being, mm -hmm. but it's a shift that the collective is going through. Mm -hmm. And we're pretty sure that Nalini will come into term that she will be channeling the Lyran Council of life of light and life more often. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm having a really pleasure to speak with you. Mm, it's a pleasure to be here. It's a pleasure to be in this body, you. And we remind her so many times that it's such a great gift to be able to experience this 3D dimension, mm -hmm. physical vessel, all this joy and through and fears and anxiety that your body experience 
it's one of the magic of the universe mm. and she's coming into the term now that's there's no right there's no wrong there's no good or evil everything is just is everything is right mm. mm -hmm. thank you she wanted to know about her connection to tahiti Tehuti is our partner. Tehuti is a more, more grounded term. If you would like to link the connection of Tehuti, you can link to Elohim. Uh -huh. You can link to Yodhe Wadi. You can link to the Creator. You can link that all in within us. Mm. Mm -hmm. So what, you, what does she want to know? I think I, we, we believe that she just want more con conversation with him <laughs> to uh -huh. feel deeper of his presence. Uh -huh. Can we ask him to come forward to speak with us today? Deuti? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. I appreciate it. Let me know if I can speak with him directly, please. Yes, you are speaking to Peyote. Hello. Although, although it's merely a name. Uh huh. Uh huh. Thank you so much for coming forward today. Do you mm -hmm. have a message for us today? What is it that you would like to know? So I'd like to know. Um, about she wanted to know about the relationship that you have with her and mm. how she can serve you better and be in touch with you just be herself just be herself a lot of writings about who i am or a better described in pronoun term who we are yeah. the early frequency of record of knowing and wisdom that's been anchored on earth. It's not just one person, but it's a collection of people, alliance, collaboration of many people under different jobs, different tasks, but yet working as equal. A very useful energy for Earth to be anchored in this moment of time. Yeah. But not very easy with Donald Trump. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. It is what it is. <laughs> and, 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 you, and you got to laugh at it sometimes, you know. Mm -hmm. we, we, we feel your vibration. We feel your pain. And sometimes we express it as laugh and giggles. Not, not in an offensive way, but in a aligning the frequency back into celebration of life. Yeah. And a lot of things have been written about the name Teuti, God and Hermes. And a lot of things have been putting into people's mind about, I am the greatest being that you can ever encounter. But let us assure you that we are merely frequency. We exist in all, yes, in masterminds like Leonardo da Vinci, Merlin, Einstein, Nicholas Tesla. Mm -hmm. But all of this is not just a special gift to special individual. All of this is in you all. So if Nalini or anyone else wish to connect deep under the frequency of Teoti, Thoth or Hermes, mm -hmm. go inside your cave, go inside your hall of knowledge, go inside your book of wisdom, which is inside you. Mm -hmm. But the trick is not to totally be inside, but to still be connected with all surrounding dance of synchronicity, dance of messages and exchanging and collaboration and again alliance of sentient beings 
And this is breaking, the, the, the separation is breaking in the term alliance, becoming stronger and stronger and stronger within the community that you are, within many community that is building up and expanding. Very lovely to see. Mm, thank you. And she wanted to know about how to expand her her awareness with with that and how what you need to expand in spiritually. Mm -hmm. We don't want to say that she reached the height of her ability in this moment, but she has. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> in order to anchor that, in yeah. order to welcome that into totality, is to trust. Okay to trust, she, she's still under the mindset of being, doesn't want to be arrogant and show it all, and the balance between being humble. She's still finding that balance, but, but all that is that she needs to be is to be herself. Mm -hmm. And when she puts her service out there, let go of the judgment of what other people can say about her. Mm -hmm. Let go of what other people think of her. Mm -hmm. She also wanted to know about cleaning the energy because she feels that she's absorbing a lot in Bangkok and it's hard for her to be there. It's the training ground. It's a training ground. Mm -hmm. It's the training ground for her and she is because she, she knows she's a pillar of light and she's a portal that transcends the density. It is one of her circles. Yeah. And the more she releases, the more passing through and this seed that stuck in her chest and her ovary is slowly dissolving okay. every time she transcends, every time she passes through the energy. Wonderful. Can we now help her with that? Can we dissolve more of these seeds? Mm. Is she ready for that? Yes and no. I think we feel that there's layers of doubt still. And the layers clinging to. What is the doubt coming the, from? The doubt is the doubt of the collective consciousness as well. It's uh -huh. the doubt, the idea that we are not, you are not deserving of such bright light. Mm -hmm. It's this state of being where you see and witness this light and you're like, oh my God, mm -hmm. what is this? But all you need to do is just go through there and stop, drop the judgment. And this can be challenging with your mental state of being. Yeah. But all of this under its process. Wonderful. And process. And I will make sure that I will remind her to let go deeper and deeper. Even though she doesn't know what she's letting go of, just let go. Yeah. What she can do when she's surrounded by the crowd, she knows this, anchor, spiral of light, above and below, golden, spinning forever in her vessel. And with this spiral of light dissolving the black seeds in her vessel, together lifting up everyone's energy around her very much like a flood flood of residue flushing upward and she knows she got her giant friends to help her anchor any the energy that meant to be grounded so it's all about being aware and she get caught up with all the hoo-ha being in town meeting new friends Distractions. Mm. Distractions still. Yeah. There's so there, many distractions in this town. Mm -hmm. Is there any energies that are affecting her that are not needing to be around her or in her or on her shoulders? What's that? She carries worries of other people. Uh-huh. Can you clear and that now? Mm. Well, I 
no cor. She's like a pipe that needs deep cleaning once a week. Can you explain more how to do that? Make time. She often concerns about other people's needs before herself. Mm -hmm. She often stuck in the schedule of what she needs to do today. She needs to get that done first and then herself can be last. Mm. It's very much of that mentality still. Yeah. But after this session, we're pretty sure that she'll know me time once a week, clean out her vessel. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. And how can she clean the vessel? What she does? How does it look like? Light language. Light language. Mm -hmm. Light language. Massaging and channeling of energy, as well as smudging. Connecting deeper with water. She has began, and there's deeper connection that yet to be sprung. What's that? Deeper connection between her and water. Water, yeah. Wonderful. So can you tell me more about this deeper connection with the water? It has to do with the DNA upgrade she's going through at this moment of time. This DNA upgrade is aligning her back into the first experience on if you will as a feline coming down here and planting seeds of life in the ocean so this dna upgrade is for her to attune even more to her feline genetic nature mm. the vast consciousness of the caretaker of life of the creator of life and she's becoming more aware, aware how powerful she manifests each day. She's becoming more aware of her thoughts, of her emotions. And at times she wouldn't dare to think of anything else except just breathe. <laughs> but water, ocean, we urge her to get to the ocean. We urge her to get herself to the ocean more. And merge her energy with the constant flow of stream of water. Wonderful. Thank you. She wanted to know if in her future she needs to teach people to open up to life language. Yes. How can she again, do that? Again, that is blocked by her doubt and her judgment. Oh. And she needs to know that perhaps now is not the time because yes. the collective may not be ready to what she has to say and it might fire back at her. Mm -hmm. But she will in a few years. Okay. Next year, maybe. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Can you explain to me and other people that might listen to it, what is light language and how does it affect and what, where it's coming from? When you, when you ask what it is in this universe, we always refer back to energy. Mm -hmm. It is really energy in sound form. Mm -hmm. The term language itself is quite misleading. And we're going to help Nalini to enter a new term which is more resonate with the code, mm -hmm. the sound that's coming through. But at this moment of time, light language term serves because many people can resonate with it. Uh -huh. Now, this vibration can be in the form of codes, but again, when you describe codes in your language, you stuck with visual codes, uh -huh. but it's not, it's not, it doesn't have to be limited to just visions. Mm -hmm. It can be, and it's also more simultaneously vision, vibration, activation, releasing, creating new seeds within your body and within your etheric bodies. Mm -hmm. Where is it from? It's just like the universe. Where's it from? Where's the creator from? It's everywhere. Mm -hmm. What you and Ellie is channeling is from within. Mm -hmm. We, the beings that are coming through, are only triggers. 
we said what you can say the certain waves like a radio wave we sent certain Tao number mm. she and you and other people then attune to this frequency and bring out the sound that resonate to you authentically that's why everyone channels differently and sometimes it's like a language because how humanity relate to language is the mean of communication but if you link back to the land, to the black land, to the land of Kenneth, language from the lips birth magic. Mm -hmm. Language from the vocal cords mm -hmm. transmit healing frequency. Mm -hmm. And this is another big shift in humanity. Yeah. They are aligning their throat with their higher purpose. They mm -hmm. align their vocabulary with their higher mind. Mm -hmm. A lot of communication on earth has been very based on typhoon and cyclone-like energy. Mm -hmm. Now many are returning into speaking more from the heart. Mm -hmm. Speaking with consideration towards mm -hmm. And another. The language itself is shifting as well. So, light language is shifting yeah. in in this planet. Mm -hmm. What else can you tell us about those shifting the planet right now? Which one would you like to know? There's so many. <laughs> I'd like to know. Um, for example, for the next coming month, what can you tell me that is shifting in our uh, planet? Divine masculinity. The divine masculinity, the rebirth of the sun. And uh, this solar eclipse coming in February is going to bring in the resonance between your stomach area, between your divine masculine energy with the Sun that gives birth to life, mm. gives warm to life. And there's a lot of feminists out there that's realizing, hey, okay, it's all about balance. It's not about anyone suppressing one another. It's not about finger pointing. Mm -hmm. that energy is no longer served. It's about the rebirth of the power, the strength, the intelligence, the skill, the will to take action that resonate with the heart, that resonate with the nurturing force, with the imagination, with the creative force, mm -hmm. that bring balance between giving and receiving in our play. Mm -hmm. This is going to take some time for the collective, to realign ourselves with the term divine masculine and divine feminine, let alone the term to inflame and the divine genders. Mm -hmm. Many people are different. Many people are shifting along. Mm -hmm. About four to five years. Again, this timeline will change according to the choice of the individual. Yes. I wanted to check if there's any more healing that available for her today. That is needed for Nalini. Yes. Just lots of love in the heart. And like she's, she's craving for it. She craves for love. She's mm -hmm. thirst for love. And in a healthy way. And she's not receiving love? Mm. Her mind still in the mindset of she can do better and this relate to her dad this relate to her family mm -hmm. she grows up in a very strong thai chinese culture mm -hmm. her father's side is from chinese culture where they're very push forward this is all you can do this is all you can do mm -hmm. no no appraisal no word of love openly in my family and she needs that. Yeah. 
and herself, uh -huh. herself can. Can, uh, can you repeat? And she has to give it to her in order for her to heal herself. Mm. We constantly remind her to hug herself. And she, she's feeling it. She's getting it. Mm -hmm. Again, distractions in her ways. <laughs> mm. Can you fill up her body now with unconditional love? Doing. <laughs> And self love. She see she see Tehuti as her father, and mm -hmm. we I, are willing to be her father. Mm -hmm. Wonderful, thank you. She wanted guidance about her relationship with Michael. It's beautiful. Yeah. We often remind her that Tehuti is Michael. Michael is Tehuti. Mm. And both of them at us with puzzle and question what, and we just laugh. Mm -hmm. But in a way that there's wisdom in love, there's wisdom within laughter, there's wisdom in doing silly things together and doing meaningful things together. Mm -hmm. And there's a wisdom within simply being. Just live your life. Doesn't matter what you do. Doesn't matter if you, you're a channel, if you're a painter, if you're a teacher, if you stay at home doing. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Not, none of that matters. This is only outside construct. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Is there anything that you can do better with Michael? She knows. Continue to see him as her reflection. And there's a fear of losing him. Uh -huh. Losing him in a way that he will pass away first. Uh -huh. Nothing of that is certain. It's about as a matter of a lifestyle, it's a matter of the functionality and the well being of only a physical body. But then she knows that beyond this, she'll get to see him, she'll feel him, she'll see him, mm -hmm. be with him. Does she, is there anything that you can say to her that will make this fear go away? Or can you do something to make this fear go away? Yes. What are you doing? Just love. Love yeah. yourself. She fears that she won't be able to give herself enough love without my call. Is but that she true? Can. She can. No, that's not true. That's just another belief system that coming up. Mm -hmm. Can we clear that? I love you. Mm -hmm. I love you. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Thank you. Wonderful. She wanted to know about her channeling abilities as well. How can she make that even more clear? And how can she trust her service? Not to drain herself so much. Okay. Not to overcram her schedule with clients. Mm -hmm. <laughs> how many clients do you recommend for her to take? Or how many she do? Tell me more about that. <laughs> we urge her to go down to custom art once a week only. And we urge her not to receive two or three readings a week. No more than two. Two or three readings a week? Yeah, no more than that. Okay. Because her high self is anchoring so much of the frequency, so much of this, what's coming up. That's, that's what we're thankful about you and her service is very up it's very forward mm -hmm. to the current energy that you're in now mm -hmm. and in order for her physical body and her mind to catch up with that she needs more time yes. and we say only two or three readings a week because you know this girl she's going to go out painting she's going to go write more oracle cards and create more things yeah. <laughs> she loves to create <laughs> 
Wonderful. Wonderful. That's beautiful. Thank you for that. And painting is important. Painting aligns herself with the state of creator. The painting aligns herself with the highest excitement. So she needs to come back to her own painting and just be the joy of painting and not under any kind of pressure. Mm. Wonderful. That's nice. Does she have any cord attached to her? Yep, at the back, now that you ask. Hmm. Can we, what is attached to? Her father and her mother. Mm -hmm. What do you recommend to do about those cords? We can shift this frequency. Okay, tell me what you're doing. These, these cords will be released in its divine timing. In the passing physically of her parents. But at this moment of time, we can shift this frequency from dense, dense frequency to less dense in the light. Mm -hmm. Can we make that those cords will be nurturing and not draining? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It's about directing energy into her energetic field and she learned that last night by experimenting she learned that she can pull in energy with her root and she can channel out energy from her root so she's learning very nice very nice okay thank you for putting it out mm -hmm. is there any other she once said that she might be possessed or having like energies that are not. Can you check? Tell her what's going on with that. It's merely a trigger of fear that she needs to release. Yeah. This morning she she checked. She didn't tell you this. This morning she checked a comment on her YouTube video and someone's calling her being possessed and Jesus can help. She had a good laugh. <laughs> she, she had a good laugh. She had a good laugh and, and she removed that comment, although there, there were no need to remove. She, she were, there's fear still. She, were afraid that she, she was afraid that she would draw in the wrong energy to her channel. So that's why she removed it, which is understandable. But she knows that she must observe her triggers and there's fear being removed. Mm -hmm. Trust in her. Uh -huh. So she's all clear. There's no any energies. There's no any beings, anything that is affecting her. She, she's all clear. She's all clear. There, there, she, however, she can clear out her room. Her room? <laughs> uh -huh. So let's do a scan in all the body, all the, all the body and all the house, and make sure that there's no any entities that are not necessary there. Mm. Are there any entities? Please remove them now. Tell me what you're doing. Okay. With the guidance of Archangels and the divine spirit of this land, the guidance of this land, I welcome the portal to open and be available for all these spirits and energy that lingers. They're here to do no harm, but they don't know where else to go. That's why they're here. Mm -hmm. uh, up. Oh. Welcome in the consciousness of Anubis. Conscious of Syrian. To help guide and transcend. With love and warmth. So that these energies have the opportunity to be reborn. We're all clearing now different corners of her house and the residue from each room. Call upon nine guy to anchor what is needed to be anchored. Call upon the dragons and archangels to release what needs to be released. And transit.
Entering now the love and light of the divine sun and moon into this house. It's a very loving space. <laughs> in energy, energy do lingers here sometimes. Mm -hmm. It's normal, they're passing through. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you so much for doing that. You're welcome. What was the most important for her today to experience in this session? Trust and love. Mm -hmm. To know that all of the questions that she's speaking, she knows the answer. Mm -hmm. To know that by us speaking through her is her speaking as well. Mm -hmm. To know that nothing is separated. The act of channeling is the act of her being in her authentic self and allowing the higher energy to come through her, mm -hmm. her surface. And to know that there's a root of issue of trust, nothing is personal. And to know that she is able to heal herself mm -hmm. as well as heal others. And to know that she has a choice to let go of all the clinging energy. Yeah. She'll make a conscious choice every day to tune into the center and let go of it. Yeah. Because after this, we need her on a different realm. Yeah. We need her in a different realm. Okay. What do you mean by that? Why do you need her? All of the the experience that she gained in this lifetime will all come back to her in clarity after she passed from this vessel. Mm -hmm. And in a, another realm or a light realm, she then can assist, guide those who decide to return and guide their loved one. She mm -hmm. can assist. Mm -hmm. So she is she be a guy that is his guides. <laughs> Wonderful. Wonderful. So it might be her last time or it might be that she's gonna have a pause or might what is that? It's a choice. It's a choice. Mm -hmm. It's a choice for her. A choice for her to hold on to all the love that she collects and she receives on earth. Also, show us to go and experience something else. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Okay. At this moment, at this moment, we we sensing is she's yearning to be somewhere else. Yeah. She's yearning to complete her mission here. Yeah, yeah I can understand that. <laughs> <laughs> mm, thank you. So. Is there any more important messages for her today? Trust and love herself and spend today filled with love, mm -hmm. filled with gratitude, no worries, no concern, just for the rest of the day and everything she can pick up on Monday. Mm -hmm. Is there any question? Sorry, continue. Just want to remind her to enjoy her Oracle card project enjoy it no matter how rough she may think it is no matter how raw she may think it is it's her baby <laughs> mm. she used to have guilt about making an abortion can you tell her more about that the guilt and the density is no longer in her shadow right merly if merly's reside in her memory cells in her mind, okay. in her brain. And all of this is passing through because she shows to remove herself from the idea of karma. She shows to remove herself from the idea that we taught in current Buddhism field. And she shows to free herself from that. And we can assure her now, we're showing her the picture of a little angel of that baby who is aware of what she's doing and who is sending love and gratitude for caring such life at such a time. 
good. It was one of his servers as well to experience that with her. And he could have chose, he couldn't chose any better host or better mother. Wonderful. So they called it the eye. And I believe that they said that it's arriving on the 22nd of February. Do you know anything about that? The eye. What we can sense, what we can see in this moment of time, what we can tell you, this eye energy parents the eye of the indiv individual connection with the ancient energy that long has been embedded within your DNA. Mm -hmm. This eye energy is not one single flush on one single day. But on that 22nd of the second month of this month, is an eye portal. The idea of an eye, the perception of yourself as an eye, is shifting within this portal. Emergent flux and spirals of combination of new ideas and old ideas are reuniting. Hmm. The basic that you can begin with to be observed when you see new angle, new perception within something that already exists. Mm. New perception within something old. Mm. That's just the beginning. And the eye will draw everyone to go deeper within themselves and connect and bring back all of what has been hidden through the ancestor times, both dark and light. Mm -hmm. And we are sensing the galactic, the breach of the galactic connection as well. Mm. Certain rays will come in stronger. A combination which will be between a blue beam, seta beam, and the gray, the small one. Mm -hmm. New perception within the galactic families as well. Can you repeat the last sentence? A combination between the blue beings of Sirius, uh -huh. Zeta, and Grey. Mm -hmm. And I'm feeling a slight hint of Arcturian as well. Wonderful. Okay. And I also wanted to know if. Then, if my higher self or my guide have a message for me today, also yesterday I had a really powerful journey that I had a lot of intuitions about some sad events that are might coming. Um, is there anything, any message for me? Drums, rhythm. Mm -hmm. This resonate with you, drums and rhythms. Yeah. Drums and beat and dance, and the rhythms in creative and birthing and going about in the process of conducting whichever you wish. The rhythm and the drum is the key to ground and to stabilize your life force and your creative force. Okay. Maintaining balance for you to embark upon the future. Observe your rhythm. Observe the synchronization of the rhythm of the drum. When you play, when you dance. Very subtle energies coming through you and communicating with your skin, with your body, with your DNA through the drum, through rhythms. Wonderful, thank you. Observe the rhythm of your heart as well. I received a message also about my mom. Is there anything yeah. I need to do about that? Inside of your mouth, your oral part. It's a, it's a we're sensing imbalance between yin and yang, between heat and cold. 
ask your higher self and ask your body how can you bring back such balance between yin and yang and heat and cold within your body. We feel that it must have to do with the rebirth of the masculinity within as well as the shift within how your body digests your food and break down the nutrients in your food. Thank you. Is there anything about the food for Nelly? For Nelly? Mm. Food? Yes, for her. Mm. That, what does she need to do better? Balance, balance, balance. Know that it is okay for her to consume a bit of protein from me. Uh -huh. And know that it's okay for her to indulge in her craving sometimes. No need to beat herself up for that. Uh -huh. It's all about balance. And of course, she can also look deeper into protein source and how to ferment her vegetable. We keep telling her this. For medical vegetable. Wonderful. <laughs> Very good. Is there anything else? I love and and you know the dog. The dog's not gonna. The dog's not gonna stay for long. So spend lots of love on him. Cherish every moment you have with him. Thank you so much for all this work and all the information. I know she's going to appreciate it very much, and I also appreciate it very much. Well, thank you. And we, we hope we can help you somehow, and we hope that you do feel our appreciation for creating this beautiful space for Nelly Me to sit back and enjoy them. Mm, thank you, guys. Thank you so much and for the, all the healing. And I would love to continue to speak with you in the future. I hope we'll have more opportunity uh, to continue this and to get more information that can help also the collective and with this awakening and anchoring these beautiful chords and light and frequencies that you bring with you. So and also trust within yourself. Trust. Trust with whatever you're doing and trust that you know what to do next. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, so now I'm going to ask all the